Hello, my name is Mariah Atkinson and I live in Calgary, Alberta. I'm a petroleum engineer and I graduated in 2015 from the University of Calgary. And I chose to be an engineer because I really loved math and science in school. I was really good at it and I really wanted to be able to use these subjects for real life in real world scenarios. I also like being creative and having to think outside the box in order to do problem solving. So in order to become an engineer, I got a Bachelor of Science in Engineering uh, from the University of Calgary, as I said, and to get into school, I needed to have math, calculus, physics, chemistry, and English from high school. It was a four-year degree, and I did a range of courses throughout the degree, from math courses to science courses, such as chemistry or food mechanics, and then other courses that were more specific to petroleum engineering, such as drilling, well logging, or reservoir engineering. In my first year of school, uh, it's more of a general engineering. Everyone does the same courses. Uh, you do things from electrical engineering, mechanical, all the different disciplines. And then after that, based on your grades, you get put into a different specialization for your second year and onwards. And I really enjoyed going to the university. It was a lot of fun. The community in engineering is quite small, so you build a strong community and you know everybody. Uh, but it is a lot of hard work. But it's worth it in the end. So while I was in school, I did some summer jobs. I worked for an oil and gas producing company. At For my first summer, I worked at an oil sands facility in, in close to Lac La Biche, Alberta actually north of Black Labish. So I lived in a camp while I was there and I would fly in and fly out. And I worked as a facility engineer. So I got to implement any changes that they wanted to do and I got to do the engineering behind that. So if they wanted to change out a valve or something like that, I would update the drawings um, and then go and make the package for them to change that in. While I was out there, I got to see all the different equipment. I got to see what a valve was, all these things that you don't really know until you're actually out there. I also got to go and climb into some vessels, such as a steam generator and a treater. So it was really cool to see the insides. From the outside, it just looks like this big cylinder, but from the inside, there's a lot of things that they put in. Uh, my next summer, I worked for the same company, but I worked in the office instead as a process engineer. So I looked at the water treatment plant for the facility that I was at the previous summer, and I tried to optimize it and make it safer. I also used a process simulator over that summer, um, and that creates a model for you, and you can see the various process parameters that we use to design a facility. Uh, next, once I graduated, I got a job at a hydraulic fracturing company that was doing work for different companies in the United States. So I was a completions engineer, so I designed the fracture treatments that we would do for hydraulic fracturing. So for instance, the company would need to know how fast to pump the fluid, what kind of fluid to use. Um, and then what kind of propent they would need as well. So there's different types of propent, and propent is what they use when you inject water underground. Um, you add some sort of sand or marble to hold the fracture open so that you can increase the flow of the oil and gas out of the well. So we would tell them what kind of propent they would need. And we would work with other disciplines as well. So we would work with geologists or geophysicists and geomechanics and reservoir engineers to create a design that would work well for their entire field. While I was at that company, I used a different software called Gopher, which would model the fracture and you could see the pressure that it was getting and see if it was kind of what similar to what they were doing previously. And you got to see the geometry as well of what the fracture would look like underground. So it was pretty fun. And I learned a lot at that company. After that, I moved to another company in Calgary that designs oil and gas facilities. 
So this is called an EPC company or engineering procurement and construction company. So we would do everything from the beginning of the project until construction. I worked as a project engineer, engineer there, but I also did process engineering as well. So as a project engineer, I would organize the project from beginning to end and make sure that everything would work. And so I would create schedules and cost estimates. I would specify equipment that we would need, such as separators, compressors, refrigeration packages, those sorts of things. And then I would create a document to send to vendors and they would create a bid for the equipment I would get it back, I would go through all the bids from the different companies, and then we would select the one that we would want to purchase. I would also create drawings for the facility, and I would work with other engineers to do that, such as our electrical department, or civil, or the mechanical department, and process to make sure everything would work, and it would be safe and efficient. And I would also work with various clients and I would show them what we've done so far, our progress, and I would get their input on their des design to make sure that it would work for them and be in their budget. So overall, there's a lot of different tasks that go into designing a facility. So it's never boring. There's always something new, something new to learn, um, and a new problem or challenge that will come up with each new project. So overall, that's my experience so far since I've graduated. And I, as you can see, I've had many different experiences from being out in the field to working on the underground portion um, of completions engineering and then the more above ground part as well of project engineering and process engineering. So whatever you do, if you just do decide to become an engineer, there's lots of different disciplines you can go into. You can become a mechanical engineer, electrical, civil, um, chemical, or petroleum like I did. And even if you go into any one of these disciplines, there's many different directions that you can go in your career based on what interests you. One drawback that I found from working in the oil and gas industry is that there is a lot of fluctuations based on the economy. So when oil prices are high, there's lots of projects and it's very busy. Uh, and there's lots to do, but when oil prices are low, companies become more conservative and it can be hard to get work. So it can get quite slow. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but overall, engineering is a very rewarding career. You get to solve problems, you get to use your creativity, and you can go in many different directions. You can become more technical and focus more on the science and the math portion of it, or you can go into more management, such as the project engineering or just becoming a manager in general. Um, so based on your interests, there's always something that you can do and something that you can learn as well. So thank you for listening, and I wish you all the best in choosing your future career.